everybody. Today we are gonna do another experiment that you guys can do at home. This is milk swirls. We love it and we've added a bit of a new twist. It's also really, really easy so you guys can do it at home. It doesn't need um, much equipment at all. We've got some Petri dishes. You guys can just use some, uh, a plate or a bowl. Um, you can just, you can use a Petri dish if you've got one. That would be awesome. We've got some food dye here, all different colors. We've got some milk. It doesn't really matter what milk you use as long as it's full cream milk. If you use um, uh, skim milk, it's a little bit too transparent, a little bit too uh, watery. It doesn't show up as well. So full cream milk. We need some detergent. We've got our detergent in a little bottle here. Uh, we're also using some cotton buds. And then we've got some icy ball sticks to do some stirring. So this is for the traditional milk swirl experiment that we're gonna show you first. And then later on afterwards, we're gonna show you a version with some PVA glue. So for this version, you'll need some water, uh, a mixing container and some PVA glue and then some of this equipment as well. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so we've cleaned up a little bit and the first thing we need to do is get our bowl or our plate or our Petri dish here. And we're just gonna put some of our full cream milk in. Come in, come in and have a look over here. So we're gonna put some in like that. Now you don't need to fill your bowl up, you just need to cover the bottom of it, okay? So just like that. Then we're gonna get our color, our food dye, and we wanna drop one drop in each corner. Ooh, one. So our next ingredient is some detergent. And if we zoomed in and have a look, looked at, looked at um, the molecule inside the detergent, or what the detergent's made out of, you'll see that one end of the molecule loves water and milk, and the other end hates water and milk. So what happens when we drop it in, is, it, is the detergent spreads out across the surface of the milk, and something cool might happen. So I'm just gonna get some detergent here on our cotton bud there. Okay, and then we're gonna pop it in and let's see what happens. You guys ready? Here we go. Wasn't that amazing, you guys? How pretty is it? So much fun, I love doing that. All right, now we're gonna show you the PVA version, which I think is even better than that one. So what we need to do, if you use um, straight PVA, it doesn't work as well. So we need to first water down some PVA. So we're just gonna get our PVA and pop it in here. You guys can come and have a look over here if you like. I'm just gonna put it in our mixing container. Get a fair bit in there. And then we're gonna put some water in. Now, when you're putting water in, just a little bit of water. You just want a bit. So you saw how much PVA I put in. I'm just gonna start with a little bit of water and then I'm gonna stir that up first. All right, perfect. So we've got that all ready to go. And then what we're gonna do is get our Petri dish out and just like before, we're gonna um, cover the bottom of it. Just get a nice layer across the bottom. So obviously the PVA is a, a bit thicker than the um, milk, even after it's watered down. And it's gonna give us a different, um, a different reaction. All right, so pop that on. All right, now, same thing. I'm gonna do a little bit more this time because it's not gonna spread out as much. Our green, our red. And you guys could make a prediction. What do you think's gonna happen? You can make a hypothesis and then we can do the experiment and see if you were right. What do you think's gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna look the same as it did before? 
I've already given you a bit of a hint that it's going to be a little bit different, but how is it going to be different? Have a think about it. All right, so then what we're going to do is instead of using our uh, cotton bud, I'm just going to drop some detergent right on it. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. All right, wasn't that amazing, guys? Did you guys see all the little branches, like the trees, as it was looked like it was kind of growing, like it was alive? I love that one. So if you try it at home, try it with different amounts of PVA, different amounts of water. Now, we've left it a few days. Come and have a look at this. So we've left it a few days. It's dried now, so it's dry. And you can see if we use something like, this one's almost out already. If we use some scissors here and just cut it off the bottom, yeah, it's pretty good. Got a little bit there. We've got this cool little thing. You can put a hole through here and you can wear it like a medallion or you could hang it in your window and it actually, because the light shines through, it actually makes pretty patterns on the wall. So how cool is that? Have a go, see how you go. If you do do it and it works out really well, we would love to see it. Send us in a photo on Instagram or Facebook. We would love that. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.